I took a break from playing NBA 2K for the last month and a half, haven't even booted up my PS5, which sounds crazy considering I've been doing this for like six plus years and have yet to take a break. For a lot of reasons I'm about to explain here in this video, it was necessary. I think 2K took a lot of missteps and I haven't caught y'all up on the news. So there's a lot to get into. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, let's do it. All right, well, some of this news is pretty old, so I'm gonna brush through it. Uh, NBA 2K came out with their update number three, and they came out with actually a lot of decent fixes. To a lot of gameplay issues, they're fixing up a lot of the bugs that the game launched with. And on top of that, now there's snow in the city. So you guys probably already know that, let's move on. 2K announced the four candidates for each borough that were gonna be mayors. I wasn't in one of them, and that prompted like thousands of people to add 2K asking why I wasn't one of them. I think we know the answer why, guys. God forbid you have a mayor that says whatever the is on his mind, that would be tragic. So as Ronnie was hosting debates and everyone went in to vote for who was gonna be the next mayor of the four boroughs in the city, there was actually a couple interesting points. Ticino put out a tweet saying, congratulations to the Knights, I resign as mayor. As mayor, I didn't even get power whatsoever, it was basically just a logo above my head with no ability to change anything. Couldn't even play Rival Day on my own server because everyone got error coded and stuck outside. Which is interesting, you might be wondering what happened, Agent. Apparently a whole lot of people from Beast to the East Side, East Side, East Side, they were saying that they were getting error coded left and right, so they couldn't even participate in Rival Day the way they wanted to. So they lost Rival Day. Ticino's frustrated saying he didn't have no power with it. And that's something that could have told everybody was gonna happen. And then to add on to that, Troy Dan put out a tweet saying, congrats to poor boy sitting on winning mayor. I tried to make the most of it, but that job really wasn't for me. Good luck to the rest of the Western Wildcats. So gone are the days, man, where Ticino's voice and Troy Dan's voice are gonna berate us every time we hop into the park. Until you throw on your headphones sponsored by Beats. <laughs> Oh my God, so it's interesting that two of the probably most popular people in the 2K community just said, nah, I don't want this position no more, y'all can have it. And for what it's worth, there was actually some interesting people they were running up against, like Los Polos was running for mayor, the rapper The Game was running for mayor, and a whole bunch of other people in and around the community. So, I mean, I don't really think people really cared about the voting, to be honest with you. So let's move on from that. Again, uh, I haven't honestly went on the part because I'm telling you I've been on a break. We'll get into that, man. But if you haven't taken a look at what it looks like and you haven't seen it on on Twitter, there's snow in the park now, ladies and gentlemen. Someone asked the question, why Why isn't there never snowfall? Guys, I want snowfall in my game. Because if they ever added snowfall into NBA 2K, the servers will combust to levels you wouldn't even imagine. They can't even get the current city right, right? Took us three weeks just for it to be playable. Do you guys remember that? And so Ronnie, in what I feel like was a response to a lot of people asking why I wasn't nominated as one of the candidates for mayor, put out this tweet saying, one candidate for each affiliation is gonna be a high level grind guy. I want to build a platform for the guys who really earned it by grinding. You should support and vote these guys if you're one of them. And which is basically saying, AJ don't really play the game, so stop asking for him to be a mayor in the game. And Ronnie followed up with another tweet on a separate note of a different change he made, saying, put in another change this morning to make the park and rec grind more equitable, continuing to monitor, so send thoughts letting us know if it's closer to equal, happy gaming. And a lot of people in the replies are saying they see no difference, typical. So let's get back to that last point about you had to be playing the game a lot to be a mayor. I think 2K made some serious missteps and it's no it, it's no secret that there's really little interest in NBA 2K right now relative to everything else going around in the gaming community. I think 2K thought that everything was sweet. They thought the game was gonna launch next gen and things was gonna be incredible. We could just continue to drop these broken games. In fact, you know what, what we'll do is we'll drop the most broken game of all time and then everyone's gonna be fine with it. And 2K really thought it was sweet because Call of Duty was a launch title too. And Call of Duty came out playable. Call of Duty came out fun. And so 2K's competition, by the way, is not other basketball games. It's the other casual games on the market, the Fortnites and the Call of Duties. Y'all remember in 2K18 when the game was asked, but Fortnite just came out, what people do? They went to play Fortnite. So 2K began to scramble to put their game together so that it could become playable so that y'all don't immediately leave to play the next game. Now I was on phone calls with all my friends like, yo, what you playing right now? Uh, zombies, I'm playing zombies, I'm playing multiplayer, I'm playing Warzone, I'm playing uh, anything but 2K right now. It's like 2K, y'all can't continue to release a broken products, then fix the product, and then act to like, you guys are gonna come back, right? I've been doing this 2K stuff for a while. I, I mean, I, I remember I started 2K14 My GM, 2K15 My GM, 2K16, I did a little bit 
to my team. I bounced around a little bit. 2K17 jumped into the park. 18 Pro Am Park. Like, I've been doing this. I played every imaginable mode, bro. I've been doing this for a living. I could see where 2K made the missteps. And if y'all remember correctly, back in the 2K17 days when I was blowing up, everyone used to tell me, like, yo, agent, you're so negative all the time. All you do is hate on 2K. I remember I used to get those comments all the time. And that's because I would see something wrong with the game. And I'll hop on here on these videos and I'll try and make it a point. This is something that has to change. I did that all year. All year when there was a problem, when they added the grand badge and I thought it was crazy overpowered, I said something about it. That was the year where I believe the dev spent like literally a good part of that year patching a lot of the jump shots that I was creating that was hitting money. But throughout that year, I quickly realized, and as we went into 2K18, I for sure realized that they wasn't really listening to anything I was saying. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, they wasn't listening. Like I believe, I'm so passionately did I want this game to be better. So I make these points like, yo, this is something that's wrong with the game. It has to change, but I quickly realized not only did they not care what I had to say, but the only time they would make a change is if they needed to. Like the game was in such horrible condition that it was unplayable. That's the only time. If the change was a quality life change or it would just be marginal improvements, they wouldn't listen. It would be, there's nothing I could say in a video that make him ch make a change in the game. And that kind of that kind of hurt because as 2K18 was rolling around, I'm thinking to myself like, yo, this is the worst 2K of all time. I know that to be a fucking fact. But who's, who's one of the people that stuck in the game that was uploading every other day? I never missed every other day. Regardless of what was going on in my life, I would upload every other day. They didn't give us new content. They didn't give us nothing. What was I doing? I was uploading that bull every other day. I was doing that, man. Like, I tried to keep the community lit because I was like, this is what I would have wanted if I was playing 2K. I want at least a few content creators to stick around and make some content because most of the guys just cut and left. And I understood why they left. I mean, the game is garbage. 2K18 was the worst 2K in the history of the franchise and the up part is we all got bamboozled because when when they launched the neighborhood and we saw it was like yo it's gonna be like gta 5 type we all got bamboozled man we all came in with these crazy high expectations and the game just didn't work not only did it not work but it was the most depressing grayscale least lively game of all time y'all noticed throughout 2k18 i was coming with the criticism too i was like 2k this snatchbacks and blowbys like all that has to change i was saying that over and over again it did for 2k19 2k19 in my opinion next to 2k16 and 11 is one of the best 2ks of all time very fun 2k man if it wasn't for a couple changes the shot contest system it, ooh, I would have could have literally could have been the greatest of all time if it wasn't for stretch bigs abusing shot contest systems. I swear. But you notice in that year I wasn't complaining as much. Why? Because I realized it wasn't doing nothing. Like, would it get views when I would sit there and talk about problems in the game? Yeah, it would. But I was getting tired of it. Like, guys, you have to remember I'm a gamer, yo. I've been doing this since I was four years old and my dad bought me a PS1. So when I play games, I want the games to be good. And God forbid you give me a platform where I could sit here and talk about problems, I'm gonna do it. But when it's not making a positive impact, man, I'm not gonna continue doing it. So I began to get real inconsistent with my, my rank criticism videos. Cause every once in a while, a situation so large, you come out, talk about it, but I wasn't doing it the way I used to. 2K20 came out, y'all was barely seeing me doing it. I just throw it in there every couple months so y'all remember that I still care about this game. I still want this game to be better. Y'all have to remember that's my main goal here. And you have to see the incongruence there when 2K, that's not their goal. Their goal is to make money and I get it because we've seen developers like Telltale Games go under. Like Take-Two as a company, they almost went bankrupt. You have to remember this is a money making business. You have to be there to make money. So I recognize when they make money making decisions, I allow it. But there's some decisions where when it comes to the cost of the game, I had to think to myself like, yo, how long are we gonna wait before we just remove these billboards? How long, how unplayable does this game have to get before we just do that? And it's, it's not gonna make it better if I just talk about it. Cause I'm telling you right now, people like LD2K, they do a great job at finding feedback from the community and telling the developers. And then the developers actually are strapped cause they don't have time to make none of these decisions. I've been telling y'all the, the solution is to hire more people. The developers don't have time or resources to make the decision, which is a fucking crazy problem to have considering the game makes billions and billions every year it launches, guys. You, you shouldn't ever have to say the words lack of resources on a game that's highly profitable. That doesn't make sense to me. So I'm starting to lose faith that anything I say will ever make a positive impact. Here I'm going scaling back, scaling back, scaling back, scaling back. 2K21 comes out, the city, I'm not gonna lie to you, off rip, I thought it was an exciting idea. And I still think it is, but it was done so horribly off rip. 
It was so unplayable off rip. 2K thought it was real sweet. And then Call of Duty came in here, and I genuinely believe that's the main reason why a lot of people lost interest in the beginning of the launch, is Call of Duty just ate up all the 2K people that played a the game. They was on there playing the game that actually worked. And I'm seeing it happen, guys. You have to remember, how long have I been uploading this game, man? Y'all, how long have I been uploading this game? And I'm watching 2K just down f***ing bad right now over some that they could have solved before launch. What am I supposed to do? And then at the same exact time, y'all have to remember, I'm uploading almost daily on the second channel. I launched a new channel with low uploading three times a week on playback. Podcast dropped two times a week and AMP's taking off. How could my focus be on this right now, man? And the reality is I'm still a gamer. So I wasn't not gaming during this time. I love CD Projekt Red. Did they muffle this launch of, of, of Cyberpunk? Yeah, they did, but I'm playing it on PC. It's not that bad. I'm playing Valorant, man. I'm still playing games because this is what I do. I want to do this for the rest of my life, but I just want to play games. It's so fun to play games. Whether I get paid for it or I don't, I'm playing games, man. Y'all don't know the games I play on the side. Y'all think I only, only game Agent plays is 2K because it's the only game I upload. I play other games. I just don't upload them. I don't have an audience for those. This is something that I've been doing as over the last three years since 2K17, really. And I, I recommend more content creators do because it'll, it'll help you from not burning out. What I did is I only played 2K when I needed to. Not because I didn't enjoy the game when 2K19 was out or 2K20 was out, but because I didn't want to deal with being burnt out on the game that I get to upload for a living. So I wonder when I hop on these games, y'all see me do these funny moment videos with Vortex and Low and Click and all these other people. I wanna genuinely have a real smile on my face because I'm enjoying myself. But what, I, what I'm afraid is gonna happen because 2K it wasn't for a long time doing a good job with releasing consistent new content is get burnt out. Y'all gonna have to see me forcing myself to play the game? That's not gonna be fun for y'all. Y'all can tell if I'm forcing it. There's no way I could keep that smile on my face for that long. There just isn't a way. I remember before they made the update to remove the billboards and the game was rocking on two frames per second, I was forcing it. And I dropped a video comparing me forcing it to me actually enjoying the game once they made that change. The reality is, is man, y'all sit here and you watch these videos. You guys care about the game. You guys want the game to be good. I've lost faith in my ability to have any kind of meaningful positive change. Am I still gonna bring up issues from time to time? Yeah, I will. But why y'all think my videos went from in like rant type criticism videos to more like funny moments, like me having a good time videos? Cause this wasn't working, bro. The first day it wasn't working at all. Anyway, um, plus there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes that I just think is like, is not a good look. And my opinion is deterring people from even uploading the game. I'm not delusional enough to believe that the world of gaming revolves around content creators. I think we play a role, but I don't think it runs on us. I think 2K can still be a successful game regardless of who's creating content anywhere. I don't think they're relying on me to be a good game, not even remotely. And you'll notice a lot of other content creators is feeling the same frustration I'm feeling, man. They're trying to find some other to do because 2K is not making it a good, like 2K is actively ruining the community in my opinion. And which is so sad because I genuinely believe they've added like a couple people onto the team that have made it like a more hospitable place. Like they've added some cool people to the team on, 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 on the community side of things. Anyway, that's genuinely how I've been feeling. I'm back to uploading now. And let me know what y'all want to see from me really at the end of the day. Cause now I have so many other channels. Like I'm doing a lot of things that's not this. And now all those links by the way are in the description. Y'all want to see something from me. Y'all just gonna have to let me know in the comment section, but I am gonna hop on. I do want to experiment with this little snow city. Ah, ah, ah. And I haven't played in a while. So I'm gonna hop on. I'm gonna have a smile on my face while I'm I'm doing it and i'm hoping all these changes and these patches that they've been dropping actually make the game enjoyable if you want to watch the last funny moments video i did man it's sitting right here pretty if not i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one i'm out